Tennessee quarterback Joe Milton has caught attention of football fans around the country with his incredible arm strength, size, and athleticism, and it has some wondering what he could become at the next level with NFL coaching. We'll try to answer that on this two-minute drill. As stated in the intro, Milton has a cannon for an arm, but more than just launching it far downfield, he fires off passes with incredible velocity that makes it extremely difficult for crashing defenders to make a play on the ball and allows Milton to be fairly impressive in routes coming back to the line of scrimmage. That velocity and arm talent continues in the vertical game when he's trying to hem passes in as he throws with nice layering on his toss to get the ball effectively over the defender and only in a place where the receiver can get a hand on it. When he doesn't overthink it too much, it seems Milton has some very nice ability to make NFL throws that if he could consistently do, would make him very dangerous at the next level. Then you add in his tremendous 6 foot 5, 235 pound frame and impressive scrambling ability and it's easy to see why there are people who are fully bought in on him as a prospect. Unfortunately, buying in on Joe Milton to take that next step has been something many fans have been waiting for all six years of his college career, yet that development just hasn't fully happened. From a technique standpoint, Milton throws low, which gets a lot of balls batted at the line of scrimmage. Then on top of that, despite having such an impressive arm, his ball placement and touch is way too sporadic that it will constantly cost offenses trying to sustain drives and contested games. For a pro comparison, Joe Milton is most similar to Logan Thomas, who last played for the Washington Commanders at tight end. Thomas was another all-upside prospect with a rocket arm and extreme athleticism that was worth the pick but ultimately the consistency and polish never came and he eventually was moved to tight end. For Milton, he will absolutely get the chance. Someone will try to make it happen at quarterback, but if that development never comes, he may not be long for the league, at least playing under center. As for his NFL draft range, I expect Milton to be selected sometime on day three, and I think the fifth round would make the most sense. I doubt he's picked in a spot with a clear path to starting, but if he can earn a backup role in the league and show promise when given time on the field, an opportunity for real playing time may come his way later on in his career. Sometimes the NFL draft is won by those willing to take the biggest gambles. And while Joe Milton definitely is one, if he can put it all together in the NFL, then a team could just have something special on their hands. And that's the two-minute drill.